Hey everyone, in this video we're going to kind of wrap our Spongebob up. So we're going to clean up some guidelines here, we're going to add some dimensions, and we're going to learn how to paint and export Spongebob. Alright, so uh, exporting meaning the process before we turn it in, getting it into the right file type. Now, um, starting out here, I'm just going to go to the top view just so I can see all the mess I've made around. Uh, I do have some dimensions from earlier just still hanging out. Um, from this view, you can see that it's 300 by 400. Uh, if we go to our ISO, you can kind of also see that it's 100 uh, de deep as far as millimeters. Now, um, coming in um, next, we are going to be cleaning this up. So down here in the lower left-hand side, there's a little question mark. It's very, very far left-hand uh, bottom corner. If you select that, you can search SketchUp, and all we're going to do is we're going to type in guidelines. All right, and I didn't have to type it all in. Um, I just typed in guide. I got what I wanted to have there. I didn't even type it right. Uh, but it says view guides. If we just come in here and select this, it will turn all of our guides off at the moment. All right, we can turn them back on whenever we want to. Um, if you want to get rid of the search, I believe you can select the uh, actual question mark again and it will go away. Now, um, now that we have that all cleaned up, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, the tape measure, or sorry, the paint bucket tool. The paint bucket tool is over here in the left hand edge, the third one from the bottom. Uh, we want the paint bucket, not the little dropper. And what we want to do is we want to come in and we want to start coloring SpongeBob. And I'm not worried about you guys being creative here. He doesn't have to be his correct yellow colors. Um, but uh, coming over here to the left hand edge, if we look in here we can find a list view of, oh, sorry, not list. I want thumbnails of different types, and I should be able to get more if I search. All right, that's what I'm looking for, that search key up in the upper right-hand portion of that. And then you can get colors, and there's other also implied textures and different colors in here. Um, but I'm going to go and find my yellow, and I'm going to start by... Uh, just now pushing that back, getting everything away, and I'm just going to click it to drop it and apply it. And whatever surface I click here is going to end up turning color. All right. So uh, we can go around and fill in the things that we want to that are yellow. Make sure we orbit around and get all of the surfaces, including the back. All right. And then the middle of the nose, all right? The eyes will work a little different. If we go to select them, um, it'll work by, as a whole piece because we have that select, click, or clicked in uh, their components, remember? We made them earlier. If we wanted to get the, the pupil to be a, by itself, we're gonna have to select it with our selection tool, all right? Double click it, which makes this out, outer box, and then when we go back to our paint bucket, we can go change our colors. If you want that middle to be black towards the bottom, you could then just select those. Notice the second side always copies. And then drop the other one there. All right. Um, so you got to double click in to edit your components that way. And I'm using my selection tool to deselect. All right. I also can do the white of the eye. So double click. Once again, just showing modeling how to do that. And then the white is right here, and the white is the other edge. Selection and deselect will change that. But you can paint your SpongeBob all up, do the teeth, do inside the mouth as far as red. And then the last thing that we want to do here is we want to go to our views, make sure in the top, looking down. And what we want to do is just pull some dimensions, all right, just to make sure everything looks right. So we have original dimensions here starting out. We want to come in, use the dimension tool, which is in that tape measure tool set, second one down, just to pull the rest of them. So if we want to know how far we are from the point here to the middle of the eye, we would go around the eye here. We would then let, select the middle and then slide straight up, and it says, oh, it's 75. If we want to know how far down that is, we could do the same thing, select the end point, all right, um, so, and then go to the middle. I didn't want to get the end point there. I got the wrong piece, so I hit escape. I want to use this top end point, put in the bottom one for some reason. All right, and I can find out it's 100. Okay, uh, but we want to pull dimensions for all of the, I guess, 
details we made. So if it's the middle, we have 150, all right? If it's the middle of our nose from our endpoint, hovering over the circle to get the mid, midpoint to turn on, center, clicking, sliding to the right, we have 179 down. How big is the mouth? So pull all the dimensions needed that you, that you needed to make the piece here um, before you get ready to export this. All right. Once we're done with those, we'll be ready for the last video, which is going to be exporting our model. Thanks for watching.